day two over here on the pond on Overwatch. <clears throat> it's uh, 17 HMR. Just waiting to see if anything comes out at dark. I got three 330s over here. I got a dam break set over in that corner. I have a caster mound straight across from me. I just want to see where they're coming from, if it's still in the pond. But uh, I'm here to get it gone, one way or the other. This is day number two of Overwatch with the 17 HMR. Talk to you later. Here's this damn break. They have made no attempt yet to fix it. Got a TS-85 guarding it right there in the opening. I was going to put out some cameras, but until I see any fresh sign here, I'm not going to put cameras out. I'm just going to let that, let that trap right there ride a few more days. The water level is dropping, but uh, that's a heck of a, a dam break right there. Should be trying to fix it. I'm gonna move over and check the corner bears and uh, we'll just keep moving down. This, this beaver is just being way too hard to catch. I got the 330 set in that den right there. I've got 330 set in that den right there. And I got another one in another den. But just look. It's been like 70 degrees. The ground is wet on this slide. It should be dry. That, it's just not making any sense to me that I'm missing him, but I'm gonna put in a leg hole trap right here this afternoon, I think. And uh, keep trying, it's crazy. This one's been fun. <laughs> Move on down. There's, there's, like I say, this slide up on top of this beaver house is, is wet every day. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing any other fresh sign or chewings. But I am going to put in a leg hold right there. Talk to you down. I'm going to move everything down and go get another trap out of the truck and put it right there. This beaver has gotten so desperate for something to chew on because there's not much food around this pond. It's just a grassy pond. <clears throat> there is a fence post. Like a 5x5 five five or 6x6 six six, like used for cattle fence. And the beaver is even chewing on that. Right next to some couple little trees it took down, but there's some fresh sticks on the bottom. But uh, I'm not seeing just real fresh sign. This beaver might have moved on, but I'm going to put another trap over here where I found the wet dirt. That could potentially be where they're climbing out, but just wanted to show you where they're chewing on a fence post. They're so desperate for something to wear them teeth down on. We'll move on down, make this set. Well, I have got my cable anchor already put in, fixing to put in the TS-85 right here. But you can just see how wet the dirt is. They've been, I'm, it makes no sense for it to be anything other than a beaver. I'm not seeing fresh, fresh tracks, but the dirt's all wet going right up his trail. We'll put that TS-85 right here. We've got it scooped out. I'm going to bed that trap right there, and I'll show you the finish set when I'm done. We've got my TS-85 bedded right there. You can barely see it. Set it for kind of like a back foot catch coming up here on this trail. I'm taking a little caster and put it up here. Just kind of wetted the trail down with uh, some enrager on it. Just trying to get their attention. It's always worked for me everywhere else. But uh, right there's the TS-85 bedded on the bottom. Set for a back foot catch on this trail coming up on this 
Looks like a caster mound, but I don't know what they're doing. I've not seen anything like this. The ground's all wet, and uh, not. We'll find out, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna set this stake out in deeper water, and then put out some game cameras. Move on down. We've got the deep water anchor run out here for this leg hole I just put in. This is where the activity seems to be. I got the, the uh, a 330 right there, leg hole right there, another 330, another 330 above it. Should be putting a leg hole right there. But all the sign in this little pond seems to be... This seems to be the hive of activity right here at this little den. But I don't know if they're still here or just using it coming and going out of the creek down below here. But if they ever try to come back up here, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I'm going to set some game cameras out. Well, here we are at the dam break. I've got the TS-85 fitted right there. Right there in that dam break. And I have decided to do this. Put a game camera watching over in case there's anything comes up in here trying to repair or come through this gap. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll get a picture of it. I'm not seeing them, but the sign is, like I say, this whole dam is beaver sign, so they've been a coming and a going. So this. This down break set right here should work. Anything coming through that gap is going to have to go right between the jaws. So I'll move on down and put the other game camera watching the, uh, the dens that I just set. We'll move on down. Well, right here, I have a TS-85 bedded where this trail comes in and out. Still, I say, as much sun as we've had, the ground's wet. It makes no sense to me. But I have put a game camera right here watching this set. So <laughs> I would so much like to get a catch on video or at least get a picture of this beaver because I haven't seen it yet. But uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> ah, it's seriously right over that trail. Hopefully it's a work. It's uh, just a whole lot of fun trying anyway. Uh, see you on YouTube. I'm going back to the house. While I was paddling back to the truck, I found several of these little crawl outs where something has come up here. You can see the grass is all matted down where something has sit there. And little trails in and out of the grass. To me, if I was trapping the rivers, that would indicate to me a neutra, not a beaver. But, uh, I'm used to catching the neutral over on the river fishing or trapping sets just like this. But uh, I'm not seeing neutral sign, so I don't know for sure what's doing this. But uh, it's interesting. <laughs> I got game cameras out watching everything, so hopefully we'll get some pictures of stuff. Talk to you later.